announced the world faced professional and occupational limitations. This included unequal educational opportunities and not having access to the full scope of technical vocational education training TVET qualifications such as engineering, welding or motor mechanics. Aside from prevailing gender stereotypes, cultural and traditional barriers, the way TVET systems are generally operated are often not conducive to women's participation. The women in TVET conference is to change this and reshape the perception of TVET in the country. It also aims at showcasing female TVET trainees, graduates, as well as successful women in TVET business, and to encourage women to venture into TVET. The Director General of the Commission for Technical Vocational Education Training, TVET, Dr. Fred Cheya Samoa, said TVET is undergoing transformation and is an avenue for skills development, especially for young women. We are encouraging, especially the women to opt for TVET and most importantly the male-dominated TVET areas. We have more than 50% women in Ghana and we hope we could have same in TVET. The country director of GIZ, Ms. China Barbosa, promised continuous support from Germany in the training of women in TVET. Actively embedded in this support has been the need to ensure that women are encouraged and persuaded to take up the challenge of participating in the so-called male-dominated trades within the TVET sector in the country. A deputy minister for education in charge of TVET, Mrs. Gifty Chum Ampofo, said government has prioritized TVET education because it can help develop the country's human capital. One major benefit of this mobilization of our TVET is to ensure that they become globally competitive. The Women in TVET Conference was christened Challenging Gender Stereotypes in TVET in Ghana.